We're here with Mark Demonis in Toronto, Ontario, and founder of Courage Canada. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Mark, I wonder if you'd take some time and tell us a little bit about your story and, uh, and your experiences. When I was 17 years old, a few weeks before my senior year of high school in Toronto, I was diagnosed with a rare optic condition called Leber's Optic Neuropathy, which actually left me legally blind and uh, took away my central sight in both eyes, leaving me with only peripheral. Again, this was weeks before my senior year of high school. I was an aspiring NHL hockey player looking to go NCAA in about a year's time, and I was told by doctors at the hospital for sick kids in Toronto that I would uh, I'd be losing my sight and would, in fact, probably never be able to play the game of hockey again. And, uh, five years later, uh, being 22 now and uh, legally blind, I decided to found Courage Canada, which is a national charity which looks to bring the game of hockey to blind youth across Canada from coast to coast, starting things like learning escape programs, skills development camps, essentially hockey schools for the blind, getting them on the ice, teaching them the basic fundamentals of the game, being a part of a team in a safe and fun environment. And, uh, I had this vision of Courage Canada, and my question was, you know, how am I going to prove to people that the blind can play hockey and raise these funds and awareness for this charity? And that's when this past summer, 2009, I decided to inline skate from my hometown, Toronto, across five provinces, 5,000 kilometers, to Vancouver, British Columbia. We raised over $70,000 for Courage Canada, and uh, we look to bring hockey programs out for blind youth in different regions across Canada, getting them on the ice and, uh, and getting them a part of the nation's game. And uh, it was an amazing experience. I met in wonderful communities across Canada, from people to towns and cities, and uh, truly uh, wanted to bring hope, hope and inspiration to people about my story. Um, knowing that anything is possible in life, even uh, even when battling through adversity. And it's important for me, being a young person uh, and a young leader, to share this with youth, share this with people from all walks of life, and inspire them to to be all that they can be in Canada. How long did it take you to do the, the, the uh, skate? It took me 111 days to cross Canada from Toronto to Vancouver, so that includes about three and a half months. And I bet uh, I bet that was tough through the prairies, skating uh, one mile looks like another mile. Yeah, I mean, uh, why are you going into the trip that uh, this is going to be the journey of a lifetime? Uh, I'm going to be, you know, battling, you know, the, the distance of northern Ontario, to going across the prairies, and eventually the Rocky Mountains, which would, uh, which I'd end up facing, which are, were very tough, obviously. Uh, but I knew, you know, every each and every day, I had goals in mind. So I skated up to 60 to 70 kilometers in a day, sometimes in the 80s, and even a few even in the 90s. Um, did this with the mindset of you know each goal that I conquer and each day that passes knows that I'm closer and closer to my end goal of, of arriving in Vancouver, and so that helped push me and as well for the cause of getting blind youth on the ice. This this pushed me even more. Uh, having equal opportunity as a kid when I was young to uh, you know to, to be a part of the game of hockey. This gave me the, you know the more willingness to, to get out there each and every day and strap on those skates and uh, and give back to the game and to blind youth. Great. Now, what, now that the skate is done, what's next for Courage Canada? Well, Courage Canada is going to continue raising funds and awareness to get blind youth out on the ice. And we're working right now with different regions across Canada, uh, with the Canadian Blind Sports Association, and sponsors from the corporate level and from service clubs across Canada, such as the Lions Club, to, uh, to get these kids out on the ice, to do the right marketing and demographic research, get these kids out on the ice so they can, uh, they can have a chance to play, get them a part of a team, and get them an environment in which they will have fun, just like I did. How many uh, estimated people do you think are across Canada that could be a part of this? Well, I think uh, you know this is something that many blind youth across Canada can just have the chance. Uh, as you know, in Canada, the game of hockey, you know, the nation's game is something that you know there's so many Canadian youngsters that just you know want that chance to play, and I'm sure this is going to trigger up the energy of kids who are blind too to have the chance to play. So, I mean, the more kids that get on the ice playing the game, the better. And I think that's what this is all about, and that's why it's important that the more money and awareness that's raised means the more kids will have the chance to play. And uh, you know that's what Courage Canada is going to look to do, and to continue looking to do is to continue working with different communities and different associations to get these kids out and on the ice. So. Great. Well, congratulations on the success of your skate, and good luck with the best with Courage Canada. Thank you very much.